When we leave Saturday afternoon, it'll be rain ready. If there's one thing that can turn good elk habitat into great habitat, it's access to water. And for the 10th year in a row, RMEF volunteers are going to help make that happen. Over 60 people are gonna show up here Saturday to help us put the finishing touches on this guzzler. As part of the Utah State Summer Rendezvous, RMEF volunteers, members of the Fish Lake National Forest, and Utah Division of Wildlife Resources will install this water guzzler that will bring much needed water to this section of land. In an effort to maximize volunteer efforts, preparations for the guzzler installation are being made today before the 60 plus volunteers arrive tomorrow. Work off that very end one and and set, set it according to that very end one and the next two in line. It's going to greatly improve the habitat for the animals up here. Um, it's going to have a long lasting effect. The work we're doing here will be beneficial for generations to come by providing the better forage, better water. Uh, in turn, the animals will be healthier. The guzzler will be installed as part of a much bigger wildlife habitat improvement project called the East Gooseberry Wildlife Habitat Improvement Project. We've done about 750 acres of brush hog and chaining to remove uh, old pinion juniper. There's a lot of decent feed in the area, so as part of that project, we want to provide better feed area for the wildlife and, and provide water. Installation of tomorrow's guzzler will be number 28 over the past 10 years for these RMEF volunteers. It's uh, remarkable to see how soon uh, animals will find it after it's full of water. The habitat work's done. There's plenty of feed, but there's no water. That's why you're all here. It's, it's crazy amazing to see all you folks turn up for a project that works as well as a guzzler does. It's making a, a heck of a difference for wildlife out there. By about 4.30 in the afternoon, we drive out of here. This whole project should be done and ready for rain. When that many people show up to do a job like this and there's that much experience, it is absolutely fascinating to just watch people go to work with the integrity that they have being volunteers for RMEF. I've always said, if you build it, they will come. And that's the case with guzzlers. The 22 by 100 foot apron will collect rainwater that will funnel down to a two inch pipe buried underground. That water will feed into the 1800 gallon guzzler tank for wildlife to utilize year round. It only takes about three or four good monsoon rains in the summertime to fill that clear full of 1,800 gallons. It's amazing to see how many hands you can make light work and what you can get done with a bunch of good volunteers uh, helping you out. Uh, a little bit of money and a lot of hands goes a long way and uh, to see the changes that's going to happen in, in, this, uh, in this area is going to be amazing. It's going to be fun to watch. It feels really great. Everybody here has a lot of camaraderie, a lot of companionship, a lot of help and that is a wonderful thing to be part of you know, with the RMEF and these projects. It's a workforce that is just absolutely amazing to watch. And a lot of these guys have been doing this now for about seven or eight years. So we have about half the crew has been here almost every year. So when they show up on site, they know exactly what their assignment is and they just go to work. This is my second rendezvous and I'm just excited to see all the growth that we continue to do and the amount of volunteers that come each and every time we do this. For me, it was a learning experience because this is my first. You know, I just think it's a great thing to do. I mean, it helps all the wildlife. It's not just the Rocky Mountain elk, but it helps. So. This is my first time volunteering on a guzzler project. I don't give any money to the Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation. My dad does a lot. Uh, I'm kind of broke right now, but you feel good, you meet people, and then it's over. You know, if, if not me, then who? If not you, then who? 
I volunteered so my grandkids someday have the same opportunities we had. Um, you gotta give back. You can't just take and take and take your whole life. You gotta give back. Oh yeah, I love it. I love coming up every year, especially, you know, it's something to look forward to. It's family. That's the best, the simplest way to put it. I'm more of a hands-on guy anyway, so I love the hands-on work. A little more. There it goes. I love that they're out here making a difference in our community as well as others. Because uh, it really just helps the animals that live in Utah so more people can hunt and enjoy the outdoors and the animals that live there. When we first started these summer rendezvous projects, we had about 15 volunteers the first year. This year, I think we were at like 62. Um, it just continues to grow. Uh, we have a lot of people who are passionate about it and want to help and want to create better opportunities for future generations. That evening's banquet of the Utah Rendezvous is proof that practice makes perfect. You guys today, I think, set a record. I don't know that we've ever put a single guzzler in in that amount of time. I... It's, a, it's a huge money savings for us. If we didn't have them do that, we couldn't afford to put these in with the funding we get. So again, thank you and keep coming. We love having you here. We started, we barely had enough